Hello everyone and welcome back again to yet another episode of Fate Tactics. We're continuing our, continuing our great escape and now we're, I guess, on the last level of the sewers. So, um, I don't think I'll make any changes. Let's start. So, we got the train bonus towards Earth, but we don't have any... Well, I guess we have the Unilana, but other than that, we don't use any Earth units in this battle. As you can see, we have that um, peculiar new dog enemy, the fire elemental one. I will try to get rid of him because, well, maybe he has something interesting to drop, like a talisman or some sorts. So yeah, it's been quite a while since we got a unit talisman, actually. I don't remember the last one that we got. So, well, it could be nice. But, judging from the lore about being some... Uh, Laboratory creations. I don't think we're going to get his talisman Nor the bot talisman. So yeah, I'm kind of wondering if he would actually drop anything at all But other than that well, this doesn't look like a hard mission We do have well Not much space to move we have this um, bridge here, and other than that, there is only that space in the middle, so yeah, it's quite cramped. But we do have some range units, to, so that's, well, I was going to say that gives us an advantage, but they actually have more, so yeah. But let's move in with Chico to have, to have him set up for combos. And that would make uh, make it to the center faster. We would make it to the center faster, like that. Um, it's, well, I guess it isn't a bad spot because the bone servants should be able to protect everyone in range. And props to Ari for cleaning the drone and nearly cleaning. Well, nearly cleaning. She does. She did uh, half HP worth of damage to the soldier. And Pio needed nice work here, also. So yeah, so we're actually one dog down. They're one dog down. And it's looking quite good for us. Those Seraphim, well, they don't look like much of a threat, to be honest. At least in the previous battle, they didn't do much. Even though that beam attack isn't quite friendly, it does have uh, the ability to chain, so yeah, so that's kind of obnoxious. But other than that, they they actually they are actually quite slow and don't have a lot of movement. But they do have that um, mana barrier, but well, it's not any crazy amount. We should be able to deal with that without problems. As you saw in the previous one. Oh, so it's going quite nice. This should be a counter. And yes it is. It could be nice for Ellie to actually kill a drone first and then get to work on the soldier. I hope the AI does and choose that course of action. So far it's been quite a good decision maker, so far that is. Well, okay, I take that back, I'm starting to remember the previous battle when she refused to move on the escape tile to revive Peony, so yeah, I nearly forgot about that. But if it comes to attacking, she's actually managing quite, quite well. She took two drones down, not a problem. And that soldier should be a one-hit KO also. Okay, so yeah. Um, I think I'm going to actually save the Nova. Because it's quite a waste to use it on one dog. So let's just wait with Peony. Okay. 
And I think we should be in a spot where we can actually move our units to the center field after this turn. And this is looking too easy, so I'm actually anticipating some trouble, like reinforcements or something. Yep. Well, I guess this is normal for those types of missions, you know, the escape missions. So, control. And yeah. Oh, he dropped something weird, actually. Um, a harness or a saddle? Huh. Definitely picking that one up. Harness, yeah. Um, I don't know where well, that's... I suppose it's for Chico, judging that it dropped from another dog. But yeah, I guess that's his second weapon. That's kind of cool. I hope it gets rid of that nasty protector ability because, well, we don't, don't use that one. And quite frankly, it's, it's not a very good one for Chico. Actually, it's quite dangerous uh, to have it on him. And I will gladly get rid of it. So yeah, so I'm, I'm all for it. Wondering what um, type of... Uh, what elemental type it gives him. Well, seeing that it dropped from a fire dog, I guess it would be a fire elemental um, item. But we'll check that after the battle. Protect her up and let's get a move on. So we should use the ultra attack and we'll actually target all those enemies. Quite nice. The mana bar is actually nasty as ever. It soaks up quite a bit of the damage, even from an ultra attack. Also, um, look at that uh, difference in levels between those between our units. I mean, the Unilanas level 25 and Peonies 28, and the Bone Guardians actually 35, if I uh, saw correctly. So yeah, um, this. I wonder how well it would. Uh, how will it? Mm, what was I going to say? Um, if you look closely, the enemy units are actually quite close to our levels and they level up with us. It's actually not uh, the same as our highest unit, but I think it could be a mean of our leader unit's levels or something like that. So yeah, um, going high uh, on our levels I don't think will actually prove um, that great for us. I mean. I wonder if we'll get into a situation where a fight becomes particularly nasty. But we'll see. So far, so good. Oh, that kinda hurt. I, judging from this, I don't think the Grumble Bunny will actually evacuate on time. He is kind of slow, you know. I wonder if I could um, change him for something. I don't have any good ideas for now. It would be great for uh, the replace unit to actually be a healer type also. Or at least have a healing aura. But yeah, we'll see. Okay, nice evade. So, let's get a move on, Ari. That anchor ability is actually great, you know. Um, it's It was um, quite um, a good move for them to uh, uh, limit it to two moves, because you know, you could snipe all the easy kills and basically clean them up with her, you know? So yeah, so that limit was a must. So it's a great decision to have it. 
also, yeah, mm, I should have, shouldn't have done that, to be honest, because we need to move to the escape tiles. But yeah, I guess the hand moved quicker than the brain, huh? But, well, there's only a couple of units on the field, so I guess we'll manage. Nothing too dangerous. And the uh, most important thing is actually getting airy on those tiles, because we can't move her freely. So as long as she moves closer, everything's okay. So let's get going with Chico. Um, well, let's wait a moment. I want to see if that um, ex exterminator in the right top right corner actually moves. Well, um, let's move here and not protect anyone. I, well, it shouldn't do much waiting for him. I wanted to wait for him in case he actually moves down and targets someone from the back, but. Yeah, I don't don't think that's going to do much. Because, well, we're nearly there, and even if he targets anyone, we can pick him up and be nearly at the end of the fight, so... Yeah, so... Basically, let's just move. No use overthinking it that much. And... Condor? No. Let's just block off that dog. And... Go to the next round. Okay, so we'll move backwards with Chico. And let's hope Ellie will actually move on the escape tile. Well, nearly. But she should get that uncle. And, alright, she's at the escape tile. So, that only leaves Peony here. Let's just get that escape, I mean that copper wire. And, on the next turn, we should actually win this one. Uh, in before, Eri actually moves out of the zone. But, well, let's hope that it doesn't happen like that. Doesn't go like that. Okay. So, I guess the bone servant's going down. But it doesn't matter that much. We're actually at the end of this mission. So let's just give Peony some magic barrier. Just in case. The bunny's down. But the win is in the back. And just in time, from what I can see. And let's hope Eri doesn't move anywhere stupid. Well, she shouldn't. Actually, all those enemies are in range. So, alright. We can end this. This one wasn't hard either. Okay. No um, additional bonuses, but... Well... Doesn't hurt that much. We've actually managed to finish it, and that's most important. And we've got a new item. Okay, so... What are... I guess, I uh, wonder what our team has to say about that. Yeah, the... I guess they call it the Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, I think so too, but... How does it help them with the production of those Seraphim? Um... I think it has some innate mana, or let's say mana... Um... It generates mana? 
because they said that everywhere where the satire stones are, and there actually was an abundance of crops. So yeah, I guess it does produce some mana. Well, you gotta get used to that, Eri. Yeah, all on old. Yeah, the fairies are in a tough spot. Well, also that. I mean, the emeralds in the central district and from what, what, what we saw, it's quite heavily guarded. And I don't think that scientists will actually let go of it that easily. Oh. Well, yeah. I don't think that, you know, the church would play fair. I mean, they have to actually produce um, those symbols that they can fight and unite the people against. So I guess if they would win against the Fae, they would have to artificially make something up to continue the, their conquest and unite the people. Well, just guessing. I wonder what their end goal is. Also, yeah, Oro has a great point. She usually just accepts people right away and they don't have to ask her to go with her. She actually does the opposite. She just goes like, hey, come come with us. We're going on an adventure. But with Eri, it, it wasn't like that. Oh, okay, so, huh. I guess Peonies isn't quite sure about Eri. Just as much as she was about Pycom and Oro. And, well, guess we can only go to the Great Fairy Forest now. I'm wondering, well, maybe I will um, off screen a free battle to see if we can get something. Uh, and I doubt I will actually um, catch that on the on video because, well, it's quite a boring fight and it doesn't give anything. So, yeah. Well, if it's a special encounter or we get a surprise in it, or something great, I guess I will post a video about it, but if it's a normal one, I'm not sure it's worth it. And let's see the new item. Okay, so yeah, um, the rough skill is very useful for Chico, and that isolated is actually quite nice too, so we can let him mm, go forward and attack the enemy, so he'll get the isolated bonus, and whilst waiting, he will get an additional attack bonus, so yeah. That one's really nice for him. But for now, we have to have Ari in our party. So let's go with the offensive traits, because she has a really long range, so yeah, so that's it's perfect for her. And as according to well, as it as the scroll goes, for now, um, I guess I will give her something. Well, for now, it basically doesn't matter. Uh, we'll have to see what kind of a fight it will be, but she will make use of something that's that buffs her survivability because she's quite low on HP, and she doesn't have any innate mana barrier. But I guess that's reasonable judging from her lore yeah that's that's quite actually logical so okay and we're gonna see if we can craft something and i guess it will be the all for this episode hmm i think i will go for this one because the hidden items are quite frequently craft items so yeah and also the experience one, because more experience is always good. And that would be all. So yeah, we're looking quite nice when it goes to items, to crafted items. I guess those defense items will be next. And I mean that guts item will be next. I want to check that one. And well, thank you for watching. And let's see you in the next one. Take care.